Okay, quick meeting Tuesday, May 22nd, is it today? Something to that effect. Issues yesterday on infrastructure, we ran out of water in a shallow well, so we have a little emergency. We're fixing it up by going back to our rooftop catchment and just installing 400 feet of tubing from our old water system back to back to this one. Yesterday we did the, we got actually the 10 kilowatt inverter came in, the 240 volt. Turns out that that thing cannot run a naturally a 15 kilowatt rotary phase converter. So we got a, a five, five horsepower rotary phase converter for 375 from eBay, from American Rotary. And hopefully that works for three phase power. Now still that 10 kilowatt inverter, which is what we'll test today, should run our welders. They're not an inductive high startup load. So we should be able to work that today. We're gonna to test that immediately, see if that works. Okay, tell us about the water system, Brianna. What, what do you do? Well, these boys think it's okay to not have water in a home, and I think we need water. So <laughs> I'm installing it. Um, basically what we're doing is we've got a little 12-volt uh, pump. It's 12 volts, right? Yes. Yeah, so a little pump that we're running from the old water supply that was rain captured. So uh, running that up to the house, I got all the pipe laid this morning, just irrigation, half-inch irrigation pipe, um, held it together with these little plastic barbs. So now basically I just got to attach it to the pump. Mm -hmm. And what about hopefully it'll make us have water again. Cause... Yeah, there's a 1,000 gallons stored in the, back in the greenhouse, so we'll have that for at least some time until we get the large rooftop catchment from the, from the new house. Or we might just go out and say, let's do it for real and just hire somebody to dig a well. I mean, we don't have our well rig up yet. But we'll see. It's like we might have to go to a recovery plan on that. Okay, what about iron worker? Anything on that? My progress was stalled yesterday because I had to fix the brakes on Mark Chin's truck, and they broke. So it was drum brakes. I'd never done it before. I was having trouble installing it. Turns out the reason I was having such trouble installing it is because the brake itself is messed up. and Because um, one side was like, three times more worn than the other side. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why it's just, I did everything exactly the same on each side and I could fit the drum on one side and not the other. So we just kind of pounded it on the truck drives, but I think it's gonna wear the brake pretty quick, which should be okay, because it's just gonna wear it on the one side and then eventually they'll kind of even out and mm -hmm. it'll still be slightly more worn than the other, but I don't think it'll be too bad. So okay. I spent a lot of the day doing that. Okay. And working with Martin on the inverter, which does not work for my iron worker. Yeah, so smaller rotary converter for that. Okay, uh, the goal for today is get the water up pretty quick. and. Yeah, I'll get the water up pretty quick. And then um, I want to install a switch. Because it's, it's obnoxious to have to run the power cube. You use a mill, it's noisy. I mean, it's a little better now that it's outside. But I want to install a switch basically on the line that leads to the inverter. Or to the converter so that we started up using the power from the um, from the power cube and the PTO generator. And when you flip the switch, it instantly um, changes the power from that to the inverter because it's only going to use a lot of power on startup, not in any yep. other point. So, okay, so uh, we're going to try, that's try my an other experiment. Goal for today. Yeah, try an experiment where we start up the phase converter on, on the PTO generator and then just switch over to the inverter once it's running. And that should work. We'll see about that. Okay. Jose? Hi. Yesterday I've been with the power queue all day long. Um, I was a little, a little bit problem because the, the muffler doesn't uh, permit the engine go to the right position and the alignment of the shaft wasn't good. So I dismounted the whole system. It's complicated because all the nuts and bolts are very high inside the power queue. And this motor again, the motor again after changing the position of the muffler. And right now, it <coughs> doesn't work. We have a chicka power problem. So we sent a video to the fabricator of this power cube to see what uh, he can say about it. And uh, at night, I've been working a little bit of uh, some kind of alternative uh, project with Junso, electric uh, system. My room. Electromagnet. Yeah, electromagnet, you know. And uh, today I think I'm uh, gonna fix uh, my meter in the other power cube. Um, mm -hmm. 
I don't know. We actually do have the wiring and diagram for the old power cube. It's on the wiki, actually. So Tom responded and pointed us to the, to the diagram on the wiki. It's there already, actually. So it's good. We can take a look at that, see if that makes sense. Okay. We go from so there. We have some yeah, so do power. that, then possibly do the magneto on the other power cube. Yeah. Yesterday, I didn't do any, any of the troubleshooting on a, or quality control on the live track. If the welder works today on a 10 kilowatt inverter, then I'm going to get right to that and still hope for shipping by the end of the week. Yunso, tell us about an update. Yesterday, code saw computer design pretty mm -hmm. much finished. Today, workshop organization plus code saw design review plus CNC circuit mill CAD mm -hmm. and design review. Okay, excellent. And how are the shelves working out? Rigid. Rigid <laughs> shelves. <laughs> Everyone wants <laughs> to. Re reinforced on the corners. That's good. Okay, so we'll, with that, we'll get back to work.